am Miss Kristen. I'm Miss Kate. Come along and join us for Hey everybody, welcome to Christ Kids TV. As always, we start with a prayer, so everybody fold your hands and bow your heads. Dear God, thank you for the gift of your church. Help us remember to come here and learn more about you. And all God's children said, Amen. All right, my friends, have a great week. Our memory verse is from Matthew chapter 28, verse 20, and it goes like this. Everybody stand up. Be sure of this. I will be with you always. Good job, friends. Have a great week. Pastor Tom. Pastor Tom. Hi, friends. Pastor Adrian here. I hope you had a wonderful week. What do we think a disciple looks like? Do you think a disciple has a beard? Maybe a disciple has a long robe or lots of robes for his clothing and sandals. Maybe a disciple carries a large staff in his hand. Maybe a disciple eats weird things like locusts and wild honey or bugs or grains of wheat. And maybe some of the disciples in Jesus' time did that and looked that way. But did you know that a disciple can be anyone or any person who loves and follows Jesus? That's right. Anyone can be a disciple. Did you know that you are a disciple? 
You are. Did you know that the person sitting beside you is a disciple? They are. Let's take a minute and share that with each other. I'd like for you to turn to your neighbor and say, wow, you are a disciple. Very good. Now I'd like for you to point to yourself and say, wow, I'm a disciple. Very good, because it's a wonderful thing that we are disciples. Now, you may remember last week we talked about Jesus and the disciples. Before he ascended into heaven, he had a very special promise for his disciples. And he told them that he would be with them always. And then he gave them a commission. He gave them a command to go out to all nations and baptize people in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And the disciples did a lot of that. And that's a very important thing that we do at church. We have lots and lots of baptisms and it's wonderful and a great celebration. But that's not all that disciples do. In fact, there's a lot more to it. Today in the book of Acts, we learn that, that Peter heals a man who can't walk. He's going up to the temple for prayer and there's a man who's asking for alms, for money. And Peter says, I don't have money I can give you, but I can heal you and he heals him. And the man is able to walk again, and it's amazing. So there are so many things the disciples did that were other things in baptism. They were preaching the word. They were telling people about Jesus. They were, they were bringing good news to people and healing and doing all sorts of wonderful things. Jesus gave them that power. When we think about discipleship, we can't always baptize. So we can remember that there are other ways we can bring healing to people, God's love to people, and that is in the things that we do that are kind and loving. When we care for someone who's hurting, when we include someone who's not being included, when we stand up for someone who's being mistreated, when we're kind and good to our family and friends and, and people that don't have friends, we're showing God's love to them. So there are so many ways that we can follow Jesus every day so we can always be a disciple and always show God's love.
Hey friends, this week we're learning about another follower of Jesus named Peter and how he followed Jesus's command to go out into the world and make disciples. Check out this video and we'll meet right back in a minute. Stories of the Bible. Peter heals a beggar who can't walk. This is Peter, hey who was one of Jesus' disciples. Yep. Peter told people about Jesus. Peter and John went to the temple to pray. As they neared the temple, a man who couldn't walk from the time he was born was being carried in. Each day, the man was put beside the temple gate so he could beg from the people going into the temple. When the man saw Peter and John, he asked them for some money. Please help. Peter said, look at us. The man looked up at them eagerly, thinking that they would give him some money. But Peter said, I don't have any money for you, but I'll give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ, get up and walk. Then Peter took the man by the hand and helped him up. As he did, the man's feet and ankles were instantly healed and strengthened. He jumped up and began to walk, then walking, leaping, and praising God. Come on! He went into the temple with them. All the people saw him walking and heard him praising God. Wait, is that? I think so. When they realized he was the man who couldn't walk who had been sitting outside the gate asking for money, they were absolutely amazed. Wow! Peter asked the people, what's so surprising about this? Why stare at us as though we made this man walk by our own power? He reminded all of the people that it was God's power who healed this man and encouraged all of them to turn from their sins and follow God with their whole hearts. That was pretty cool that Peter healed that man so that he could walk and then he was able to tell so many more people about the amazing love of Jesus. Now, Pastor Adrian told us that disciples weren't just people that lived back in Jesus' time. You're a disciple and I'm a disciple. And we can share God's love in so many different ways, just like Pastor Adrian told us. We can be kind to people, we can share what we have, and when we do those things, we are showing the love of Jesus to other people, which is just what he commanded us to do. Because when Jesus told us to go and make disciples, he wasn't just talking to the men that were with him, he was talking to you and to me today. All right, friends, remember, go out this week and share the good news of the amazing love of Jesus. See ya. Thanks for joining us this week on Christ Kids TV.